All right. Now let's talk about Hive. Okay. So Hive is basically a component which will allow the developers to work with SQL query instead of writing MapReduce program. Okay. But at the end of the day, your SQL query will be automatically converted into MapReduce. Okay. You don't need to write MapReduce. You just need to write SQL query. But internally under the ground, it is all MapReduce programming. Okay. Now, to install Hive, you must have Java and Hadoop installed in your system. So, whatever box we were using so far, whatever box we were using so far, we will use the same box. We will use the same box to install Hive. Now, let me say Hive. I don't have a Hive here. Let's install Hive first. Still download it by using the direct link. Okay, you can use this wget command to download it from Linux terminal. So copy this completely. Okay, copy this and paste it here. Paste it in your terminal. So hit enter and it will start downloading. Check it out, 25% is done. Okay, and where have I downloaded that? I have downloaded that in my home. Is not it? Slash home slash sd user. Okay, so we are almost done 100%. Okay, so ideally you use this command to get that, or you follow this approach. Go to website, download, download a release now, download for from any URL. Okay, and you'll get you'll get this. So there you'll see the versions. Okay, the latest version was 1.1.0, and I picked that. Okay, so you can use this to download the latest one. Copy this, otherwise, let's directly try to download that. Okay, it is coming. Okay, so you use this directly. Now we have downloaded that in which place? We have downloaded that in, in our home directory pwd slash home slash sd user. The next step is extract that tar file extract that tar file what the command this is the command copy paste enter right now the tar file was unzipped control l next create a symbolic link for hive when you do that when you untar it you will see a folder here Okay, this is the folder where Hype software is present, but I just don't want to, I just don't want to use this name for every activity because it is very long. So let's create a symbolic link. All right. So the command is paste link hyphen s your folder name and a shortcut a nickname when you do this what will happen when you say ls you will get when you say ls you will get hive folder also now onwards whenever you say cd hive it will give you this directory is not it it will give you the content of the directory we just created a symbolic link like we had created symbolic link for Hadoop done okay next you need to add these two piece of code okay i'll talk about this later let's just copy this control l paste export hive home i created a new environmental variable called hive home and i added the hive location into my path variable okay done next i'll to, i'll cover this later okay next now hadoop uses hive uses hadoop make sure that your hadoop is in the path and all that's fine next hadoop uh, sorry whenever you deal with hive okay in hive we are going to create the tables and those tables will be created on sdfs all right and whenever the hive query, whenever you write your hive query, whenever that query gets executed, 
hive itself will create a temporary folder and starts working on that folder so you need to create those folders also okay so hadoop fs hyphen mkdir slash tmp you create a folder called temporary you create a folder called warehouse you give appropriate permission to those two folders now tell me one thing these folders are present in local file system or sdfs yes not local it is present in sdfs see how are we creating the folder hadoop fs hadoop fs command means sdfs okay now to create that you need to start your cluster first let me check i'll say jps okay the cluster is running well now you are supposed to create these folders okay but i have already created that hadoop fs hyphen ls in the slash okay hadoop fs hyphen ls slash now check it out here you have a folder called temp tmp okay i already created that and i gave permission 777 is not it similarly hadoop fs hyphen ls slash user slash sd user let me check the location slash user hive okay user hive here also i have created a warehouse folder directory having 777 permission okay so you need to just copy paste this and create those folders and give the appropriate permission clear next once you do that you launch your hive you launch your hive how just write hive just write hive okay now you see you got access to hive terminal you got access to hive terminal now you can consider this as your sql terminal and you go ahead and create tables you know uh, write some query and get the output okay so let me do like this i'll just close it and let me open a new terminal again let's say hive now it is saying hive not found so what you need to do you need to again export these two now you say hive again let me open a new terminal and let me say hive it is saying hive not found again you need to add that okay so this is a you know time taking process every time you need to add all those things so instead of that what you can do is you add this entry in bash rc you add this entry in your bash rc file so that whenever you restart your system okay whenever you relaunch your uh, terminal whenever you open a new terminal you need not again set this path okay now you will have that file here i'll say here okay pwd i'll say ls hyphen la la means to see the hidden files also now here you will get somewhere base rc check it out you are supposed to modify this hidden file okay let's go and say vim editor dot bash rc go down okay now <coughs> make your editor in insert mode i press i done now you copy paste this two entries copy paste then press escape colon 
wq save it done now let me close this let me close this okay control shift t hive right so this time it launched the hive terminal so now you don't need to export those two every time when you want to launch hive just say hive and your hive uh, terminal is ready clear on this okay that's all i have from hive installation